coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we're going to take a look at what it is that you do if you find a coin that you believe is a double die, basically how you go about attributing it and how you figure out the coin's current market value. So let's dive right on in. So while you are out coin searching, if you happen to stumble across something that you believe to be a double die, we're going to use this 1995 as an example. So let's say you stumbled across this 1995 and you believe it to be a double die of verse. Well, first of all, you need to figure out if what you're looking at really is a double die. And there are a bunch of places that you can use to do that. Now, the first one that we're going to take a look at is copper coins. Now, Copper Coins is an online database of just Lincoln Cent varieties. Now, Chuck Daltrey has gone above and beyond compiling this. He lists die markers and all kinds of stuff about the coin. To look up a coin, you simply want to go over to where it says Die Variety Search. You're going to click on Die Variety Search. At the top of the page, type in the date, in this case, we're going to be searching from 1995 until 1995. We're going to enter in 1995 and then 1995 again. Then we're going to click the mint mark, which in this case, it's Philadelphia. There's no mint mark. Then we believe this to be a double die of verse. So we're going to click that. Now you can click the strength of the doubling, but in this case, we're going to search them all. So we're going to leave it blank and just hit search. Now two listings have pulled up. We believe ours to be the first one. So we're going to take a look at it. Now, if you take a look at his site, he does show very up close images of the doubling. Over on the side, he does list various die markers, spots on the coin to look at to verify that you have the exact same thing. And then he also does have values and various information listed. Now, do keep in mind that values is a roundabout. It is very hard to keep these updated with current market values. But you can look through, find die markers, match up your coin. So this is a great site. It's very easy to use to look up a coin. So this is Copper Coins. And now we are moving on to Variety Vista. Now, Variety Vista is another excellent site. This site you can use to look up just about every denomination. Dr. James Wiles goes above and beyond. Again, he's going to show you up close images and die markers. In this case, we are going to scroll down to where it says Lincoln Memorial. We're going to click on Lincoln Memorial Double Dies. And then we're going to go down to where it says DDO Listings. We're going to click on that. And now all of the ones that are listed in blue have double die listings. All the ones in black do not. So we are going to click on 1995. And that's going to pull up the 1995 listings. Now, Dr. Wiles has two of them listed on his site. We believe ours to be the first one. So we're going to click on that. And again, he has very up close, detailed images of all of the doubling, all the spots of the coin to look at. And he does list it in various uh, die stages. So you can look at an early die stage, mid die stage, a late die stage. And he does have images of all of that posted. Now, once you get down to the bottom of the page, he does have listed various die markers that you can look for. He has that written right there. So those are pickup points on the coin to just go and look at. And then down lower, he's also going to list values in the population report. Now, keep in mind, these are just estimated values. And then it also has the known population, how many examples are known to be out there. So that is Variety Vista. Now we are going to move on to DoubleDie.com. This is John Wexler's website. DoubleDie.com is another website that you can go to to look up just about every single denomination. And as I said, this is by uh, John Wexler. This is an excellent website to use as well. In this case, we are going to go to Double Die Listings. And we are going to click on Lincoln Memorial. Now, 
once we are at Lincoln Memorial, we are going to scroll down to 1995, which we believe ours to be a 1995 double dive. Now, if you look, the very first listing he has is what we believe our coin to be. Now, at first, it's going to have a description of the coin, and then it's going to have a detailed write-up of the various die markers and details about the coin. And then he's going to have up close images of the coin. Now on John Wexler's site, John Wexler seems to list a lot more varieties out there than the other websites seem to. He's really on point about keeping his website updated. So the other sites that we looked at only listed two known double dies for the 1995. John Wexler has four listed. So there's a couple more to look at on his site. For Jefferson Nichols, he even recommends you to go to Brian's Varieties. So we're going to head over to Brian's Varieties. Now, this is not a spot to look up Lincoln Sense. This is specifically for Jefferson Nichols. And at the top of the page, if you were to click uh, Jefferson Nickel Double Dies, it'll pull up the Double Die list. And there's the list of all of his known Double Dies. We're just going to click on a date. And you'll see he has it listed just like John Wexler does on his site. So if you need to look up Jefferson Nickel Double Dies, this is an excellent site to use. Now we're going to go over to NGC's Variety Plus. NGC on their site has Variety Plus, which lists, it's basically the more popular varieties. So if you believe yours to be a popular variety, you might find it over here. So we're going to go to Lincoln Sense, and we're going to scroll down to 1995. Once we find the listing that we believe ours to be, we're going to click on it. Now, if it does have an image, the image will pull up. Sometimes they do not have images on here of what it is that you're looking for. And there is the 1995 double dot. Now, with Variety Plus on NGC, it does not list estimated values. If you uh, log in and you join up and you're a member, you can see population report and various other information about the coin. But if you just want to match up your coin and verify that that's what it is, well, there's a great site to use right there. So that is NGC's Variety Plus. So you can use that to verify a particular variety as well. So that was NGC's Variety Plus. We were over at Brian's Varieties, which is great for Jefferson Nichols. And of course, we were at DoubleDie.com, which is great for just about all denominations. And of course, I definitely suggest Variety Vista as well. That is an excellent website to look up all different denominations. So Variety Vista is just a great, great site. And then the first one we looked at was Copper Coins. Now, all of these, I will post links down in the comments. So if you want to check out any of these sites for yourself, feel free to. These are all excellent sites to use. Now that we know what it is that we're looking at, now we have to figure out a value. And an easy way to do that is to utilize eBay. eBay is a good spot to figure out fair market values, but you're not just going to want to look up the coin. You're going to want to look up past auction sales. So you're going to click on advanced and you're going to come down to sold listings. You want to click on the button that says sold listings. So click on that and then simply type in what it is that we're looking for. And we're going to type in 1995 Lincoln cent FS 101 or we could type in ddo-001 but in this case i'm going to use fs 101 so we're going to type that in and it's going to pull up all of the sold listings recently now these are all uncirculated sold listings and if you're looking here it looks like they've all sold between 25 dollars and 50 bucks somewhere around there so it would be fairly safe to say that an uncirculated 1995 double die adverse that is not in a holder, it has not been graded, should sell for between $25 to $35 if you were to list it on eBay. 
So that's a great way to figure out some value. Well, we definitely hope you enjoyed this video. We definitely hope that it helps you along your path to coin searching uh, to help attribute coins that you happen to find. So if you happen to find a double die or a repunched mint mark or something along those lines, hopefully this video helps you to figure out how to find out exactly what it is that you're looking for and then to figure out current fair market value. If you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. The more you hit that thumbs up button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. Also by subscribing, the more subscribers, the merrier. And while you're at it, make sure you click on the bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun.